As a result of the theory I was showing you before, I developed a workflow which allows you to quickly skin your geometry with a very good result. Let's start with the very initial skin weighting which was created by Maya right after we bound the geometry to the skeleton. From the clips before you might have realized that it is pretty annoying when we are working with the skin weighting tool that we cannot check immediately the result to our deformation. So what we have to do is to always switch from the skin weighting tool back to the rotation tool, rotating our joints, seeing the result, realizing it wasn't good enough, switching back to the skin weighting tool, changing something, switching back to the rotation tool, checking the result and so on and so on. To avoid this, what we can do is to create a very quick and technical animation for all the joints that we want to define weights for. The advantage of this is that we do not have to leave our skin weighting tool while we are editing our skin weights because we do not have to switch back to any transformation tools as the rotation tool, thus leaving the skin weighting tool and switching back again. We just play our animation and see the result. So this is the first step that we have to do. Because we are working with the human IK rig, we have to keep in mind that what we see here is actually not joints, but the FK controls of the human IK rig. That means that there is already some limitations built in in those controllers, which joints generally do not have. For example, you cannot rotate the hip joints because they are pinned due to the IK rig that comes from the feet. What we have to do first is to unlock all this IK pinning of the FK controls. For this you go to the human IK window and click on this nail icon up here. And as soon as you did you are free to rotate your joints in whatever direction you want to. Next thing that we should check to make it easier to key your joints or controls is to switch from the full body keying mode to the body part keying mode, which you can find here. Now we are ready to do our technical animation. Before we do so, we should increase our animation range. And we do this by going to the general preferences. in here to the time slider entry and here in the playback start end we can increase the animation range that we have. Let's set this to 400. And now we can start to create our technical animation. We will start with the leg. We will always go from the root of one limb downwards the hierarchy. The workflow is most easily done like this. Set a key in the initial pose by pressing S on the keyboard. Go 10 frames further. Rotate it to a direction that makes sense for the specific joint that you have selected. Set another key. And now you are copying the first key which you have set to 10 frames later again. Copying keys is most easily done by first clicking on the time where you set the first key in the initial pose and then you go to 10 frames after the next keyframe and click there with the middle mouse button, not the left one. This doesn't update the pose. That means we are not seeing the pose which we keyed one keyframe before. And now we can set another key by pressing S on the keyboard again. And thus we have created an animation which goes back and forth. This step we will repeat for each joint in the skeleton. This results in a very weirdly looking animation when you are done with this. 
Nevertheless, this is exactly what we need.